Oh, we have a question here. This young boy who brought that question, what is he? Ah, oh, man, he ran away. Uh, look, look, you want to hear that question? Can you please convince, uh, address, I'm sorry, the sisters regarding accepting the rule of polygamy? For, <laughs> for the protection of husband, single, sisters, and society. Jazakumullahu <laughs> khayra. Yeah. I saw you, Sheikh. <laughs> uh, I think, uh, you know, convincing and all that stuff is 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 really hard <laughs> because I want to tell you something I happen to be one of those who have <laughs> Wallahi ikhwa is not easy is a nightmare Wallahi nightmare Sometimes, يعني, you know, it's because fitna al mar'a fil ghira. The fitna of the woman is really in jealousy that she's she's very possessive. So before convincing the sisters, I talk to the brothers and I tell you, you have to qualify to do that in the first place. And there are three qualifications. You cannot, you cannot disregard a single one of them. Number one, the single, the physical ability. And I want to tell you, they will compete. And you will be drained. I'm telling you out of experience. Number two, the financial ability, and they will compete too. <laughs> she has that, I want that, she has that. Wallahi, if she is the most righteous, she's going to get that just because she got that. And number three, which is in my opinion, the best of them all, or the top of the line, the mental ability. <laughs> Because I want to tell you, you can easily lose your mind. <laughs> but before convincing the sisters, I have to share with you that this is what you have to have before you even consider that. And I advise the brothers for the sake of Allah. Wallahi for the sake of Allah. Wallahi I love you for the sake of Allah. <laughs> Seriously, don't demolish an established home to have a second one. Ever, don't do that. You're having a wife, having children, and you know that step will lead to the destruction, the corruption of the first home, don't do that. We understand that there are certain criteria that you may have to do that. There are certain conditions. You may have to do that. So before convincing the sisters, I want to talk to my brothers. But the one message that I want to tell the sisters, you may not like your husband to do that, and you're entitled to that, by the way. You're entitled to that. Because some of you may not tolerate the fitna, and it's difficult. You're a human, and you know your capacity. But don't reject the tashria. That's what I'm asking you as a sister. Don't reject the legislation. Because we know from the hadith that time will come when a man will have 50 women 
And by the way, this doesn't have to happen suddenly, like you're going to go from 1 to 50. No, this can what build up what? You understand? So think about it. What are these, what these other women who do not have a husband are going to have to do? Right? What they're going to do? إِنَّ فِرْعَوْنَ عَلَى فِي الْأَرْضِ وَجَعَلَ أَهْلَهَا شِيَعًا يَسْتَضْعِفُ طَائِفَةً مِّنْهُمْ يُذَبِّحُ أَبْنَاءَهُمْ Look what? يَسْتَحْيِرْ معناه They let the girls live and the boys are what? And they are already discriminated against That means they cannot marry Egyptians So if these girls live and they have no husband what is going to happen? Corruption. For there are some conditions, dear sisters, that we may get to, which we have. I think the number of, of, of women is way more than men now, as we speak. But the Prophet told us in Hadith al-Bukhari that one time, at one stage, one to fifty, the ratio. So that means there will be a need. So don't reject the tashriya because that tashriya, this legislation came to treat certain conditions. Alhamdulillah, I came out of it safely. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. All right, brothers.